Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will tell you everything you need to know about the Kit Gun Arcanes, where you get them, how they work, what they look like and what they do. Altogether, there is 8 arcanes you can get. To max one, you will need exactly 10 of the same one to get the full effect. We will later go over every single one maxed, but first we need to see where to get them. There is two groups of Kid Gun Arcanes. The first group are the Pax Arcanes, which you can get at Rude Zood at Fortuna, and the second group of Arcanes are the Residual Arcanes, which you can get as a reward from the Isolation Vault bounties in the Cambion Drift. We will first go over the Pax Arcanes. As I said, Pax Arcanes can only be found at Fortuna. You can buy them from Rude Zood for 10k Solaris United Standing per Arcane. So if you want to max them all, you will need 400,000 Solaris United Standing. Quite a grind, but let's look at how they work. The first Kid Gun Arcane we will take a look at is Pag's Bolt. This arcane activates each time you kill an enemy with a headshot. When you do kill one, you will get a 4 second interval to use one of your abilities, which will be performed with 30% more ability strength and ability efficiency. The fact that you have only a 4 second interval may be a big forget about it moment for many players. For all statistical nuts out there, you should know that the ability strength is additive, so if you have no ability strength mods on your Warframe, you will have 130% ability strength, and with the Intensify mod for example, which adds 30% of ability strength, you will have 130 ability strength with this arcane equipped. Not the best, but it sure does help. Pax Charge is the second arcane on the list, and it is amazing. The effect of this arcane is always active, and it is basically a conversion of ammo into a rechargeable battery. The battery is also as big as one of the magazines you would have without the arcane. Once you are done shooting, the battery will recharge with a tiny delay, with the delay being shortened depending on the rank of Pax Charge arcane you have. 50% less recharge delay at max. It is quite nice if you are commonly lacking ammo in higher level missions. Pax Seeker is great for a tiny bit of crowd control and killing lower level enemies. Each time you headshot kill an enemy, four tiny rockets will fly out of them and launch at the nearest enemy they see. The damage these rockets deal depend on the Warframe abilities you have and the mod configuration of your kit gun. This arcane is not that good on low damage dealing kit guns such as Rattle Guts Chamber or the Gaze Chamber. It is insanely good on high damage and very accurate kit guns, however. Try pulling the Catch Moon Chamber with this, it's insane. Pax Soar is the last of the Pax Arcanes, and it is in my opinion the most useless. This arcane is passive, so active all the time, and it has the following effects. 50% more accuracy when airborne, 50% less recoil when airborne, and 5 second longer wall latch and aim glide actions. The only reason why I would have this arcane is to do the Riven challenge when you have to headshot the enemies while aim gliding. But yeah, that is it. With this, we have gone over all the packs Kit Gun Arcanes. The other four we can find are called the Residual Arcanes. You can farm these arcanes up in the Arcana Iso Vault bounties, which is really not that hard, but it might be quite time consuming. I recommend you look at the wiki for the mentioned bounties since Rewards change with time and explaining that would be extremely boring, so let's rather talk about the Residual Arcanes and their special synergy. The Residual Arcanes go hand in hand with the Theorem Arcanes, which we will not cover in this video since they were a part of the Warframe Arcanes, so we will cover them in that video. We will however go over the main effects of the Residual Arcanes, so let's go. Residual Boils Arcane gives you a 20% chance to spawn burning hives that explode in a small area on the ground each time you kill an enemy. The hives will explode within a 10 meter radius when enemies approach dealing 80 damage. The area in which the hives spawn lasts for 12 seconds, so not that long, but long enough to gain some crowd control, but yeah that is pretty much it, it is not that good. Residual Malodor has a 20% chance to spawn a mist each time you kill an enemy with the kit gun. The mist will deal 40 cold damage per second in a small area around it. The mist will last for 12 seconds, so not that much, but it is great for crowd control due to slowing down the enemies. This residual arcane is probably the best out of the four, at least in my opinion. 
Residual Shock has a 20% chance to spawn an electrified spike each time you kill an enemy with a kit gun. The electrified spike deals 200 electricity damage to enemies within 10 meters and will last for 12 seconds, so it can control the crowd quite well, at least for a couple of seconds. Out of all the residual arcanes, this one looks the coolest in my opinion, but yeah, that, that is pretty much it. Residual Viremia has a 20% chance to spawn a puddle of toxic shite on the ground each time you kill an enemy. The enemies that walk into the puddle will take 40 toxin damage per second. The whole pool lasts for 12 seconds, but yeah, that is kind of it. It is great to use against the corpus, very good actually, since it will stun them and damage them through their shields, which will make the kills a lot easier. As I said, we have not gone over the combination of residual and theorem arcanes, which sometimes makes the residual arcanes truly shine, but quite rarely. <laughs> Again, we will go over them in the Warframe arcanes video, but yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, and just before I go, I would love to ask you which Kid Gun arcane is your favorite. My favorite Kid Gun arcane is definitely Pax Charge, which changes the magazine into a battery. No more worrying about ammo, even if the companion dies. It is truly great. With this, I prompt you to like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, and also have a very nice day. Bye, guys.